It's amazing, this guy Tommy Franks. I was like wondering, like the Bank of America ATM uh, took forty dollars of mine and just crashed in quotes on me, <laughs> you know. And uh, I was like, this is ridiculous. And, you know, somebody clearly, uh, some evil bastard in the, you know, puping camera thought net is, is uh, you know, just doing some evil crap here. But then, you know, I come to find out who's this, who's on the board of directors of the Bank of America. But this guy Tommy Franks, who's a retired general in the United States, he led the basic, the, the murders of Afghanistan, the Afghanistan people, after the 9-11 inside job, <laughs> you know. He's a guy, he dropped out of college because of his bad grades, couldn't graduate college, but he, he sailed up to be, you know, a high-ranking general in the U.S. military, <laughs> you know, couldn't graduate college, but rises up in the military. And now, and since 2005, is on the head, is, an, is a, a massive millionaire at Bank of America, <laughs> you know, also implicated in the 9-11, uh, although I can't remember how. I think they, they won some money from it or something, who knows. Many, many millions of people were benefited from the mass murders of 9-11. Um, but also, this guy, went, it was in Texas, went to the same high school as Bush's wife, He's just an evil guy. And this is a guy, if you remember, he was commented and quoted, and many people, a few people made a big deal about it, that he was saying if there's a nuclear attack or another terrorist attack in the USA, that he thinks that people will put in a place a military government. I mean, this is the, the college dropout who rose up to the top in the USA, who some people don't even know the name of, you know, who killed thousands and thousands of people. That's the amazing thing. Like, he, he probably wasn't good at school and science, but he was good at murdering uh, U.S. citizens and surviving and getting away with it, probably, you know. That's how he rose up through the ranks of the other half of the army. There's probably two halves of our U.S. military, those who murder and those who, who murder the murderers, you know. And he was on the murdering side and happened to survive, you know, murdering innocent people. And uh, that's just shocking. What a vicious, vicious, violent piece of shit for a human, you know, and that he wants to drop the representative democracy. Bad enough we don't have full democracy and we live here, we, they get to watch our thoughts and zap us in our houses, you know, well, we don't even get to see who's zapping us. Uh, but they want to end even this representative oh, democracy and, uh, you know, forget full democracy, they want a military government like they did in Pakistan, you know. Uh, that is some gross shit. And who who puts it there? It's like a Hitler, you know? Just a guy who dropped out of college, couldn't muster a C. <laughs> you know, this is vicious, terrible. I mean, this is the USA. Are we that stupid and violent and just dumb? Are we that uninformed and care that little about our voting, our right to vote? I mean, these people want to take us back before the 1700s where we didn't even have a representative democracy. You know, that is disgusting.